Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do this smaller rock. This is from the Happy Doubting Company mold. It's the number three. Um, I just painted it this lamp, lamp ebony black color to start out. And I think I'm going to draw some lines on it. I have this This I got with the um, number one mold when I ordered it. And it just makes putting the lines on easier. So I'm just going to draw. I want this outer line is the only thing I'm concerned with. Because I'm going to do them further out. Now you could just use a compass to do this. You don't have to have this. Works just as good with a compass. Okay. Now, I wanted to do a different color palette today than I normally do, too. I'm just trying to go out of the box on a lot of this stuff because I want things to look different. So, I'm going to start with this Irish, Irish moss color. And I'm going to use the number 10 and put a dot in the center. And then I want to do some big, huge dots on this because I tend to go to the smaller ones. So I'm going to start out with this number 18. And I'm going to do four dots to start right on this line. Okay, and then I'm going to do one in between them as well. Now, the reason why I did those before I did anything else is because I want them to do some dots around them. And I want them to go all the way around. And when I do start from the center and go out, it's kind of hard to get all the way around because they tend to bump up against other dots. This way, I'm going to um, do the dots around and then I'll fill in towards the center. I guess I'm going to go with this lighter green I got, this margarita color, and do my dots around them. And I'm just going to use a number two, and I'm just going to do the same size dots. I'm not walking them. I'm just dotting around them. Okay, now I am going to incorporate some of this tangerine color. Okay, I'm going to come in with a number seven with the tangerine, and I'm going to put a dot in between each one of these. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit bigger of a dot and go underneath that. And this was a seven, so let's go, well, let's go to a ten. And I'm going to use that same color right underneath it. I'm going to bring in some white. This is warm white. And I'm going to go a smaller dot. Let's go with the number five right above those orange ones. Okay, and then I'm going to still use the number five and do one right in the middle under these big green ones. Now I'm going to go down to the number three, and I'm going to walk some dots from the center dot here out, and just follow that curved edge there. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to do with the number two with white around that green center dot. Now, uh, 12 dots. Okay, I'm going to do one more row with the number three in white. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm going to come in with a bigger orange dot. Let's go with number seven, and it's going to be that tangerine color. And I'm going to do every other area going out. Okay, now I got this darker orange color I'm going to use. This is orange flame, and I'm going to walk some dots around those center ones that I just did. And I'm going to use the number two. Okay, I'm going to add some in some of those green dots. I'm going to go back in with that margarita color, which is the lighter one. And I'm going to use the number five and do a dot just out from here. I might end up with a bigger dot. I'm going to go to a number six. Just for the simple fact is my paint goes kind of dried. And I and I think I'm going to go in the number six. I'm going to do a dot out from here, too. Okay, now I think I'm going to leave the center kind of open like that. But I'm going to do more on the edges. Okay. Now I'm going to come in down here with a, the orange flame color. And I'm going to go with the number five. A dot on both sides and one down in the middle. Okay, now still with the number five, I'm gonna now I'm gonna go to the number four. So with the number four, I'm gonna put an orange flame dot on the top. I'm going to go up to the number five for the other ones. Now for these, I'm going to lighten that color. I'm going to use this Irish, Irish moss color. And I'm going to add a little bit of white. And I'm going to do a dot on top. And then I'm going to um, let that dry and probably do another one. Okay, this is a number 13. I'm going to go in with this black color we had, and I'm going to dot on those green ones in the center with the number three. And I'm also going to dot these white ones, just the big one. Okay, and then with the number three, I'm going to come in with orange flame and dot these lighter orange ones in the center. And then with the number three, I'm going to dot with that Irish moss color. I'm going to do those little white ones right here above the oranges. So I'm going to go in with a number seven, and I'm just going to place a black dot on each one of those. And then I'm going to call that good. I like it just the way it is. I like the negative space that's in it and the high contrast in the colors. And so I'm just going to leave it like that. All i got to do is get those lines wiped off when it's dry. And there you have it. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye!